Hello. Today we are here at Rob Family Farm in Brattleboro, Vermont, where we are going to do a yoga story based on the process of making maple syrup. We know it's time to collect the sap in spring when the sun melts all the snow and ice. So let's walk our feet apart, extend our hands out and up into the sun pose. Stretch your arms up high, look up at the sun and bring your arms back down. time to tap the trees so let's put on our boots by grabbing one foot and raising the opposite arm up in the air and hold this for a few counts breathing in and breathing out now let's put on the other boot grab the other foot bringing it up behind you and raise your opposite arm up towards the sky and breathe in and breathe out. Good. Now we need to open the door to go outside. So let's come down onto our knees and we're gonna do the door pose by sticking one leg out to the side, bringing the opposite arm up and over your head, looking up at the sun and reaching over towards those toes, taking a deep breath in and out. Good, and now let's put the other leg out. We've opened the door and now we need to close it. So let's put the other leg out and reach up with the opposite arm and lean over to the side, reaching towards our toes and taking a deep breath in and out. Good. Now, we're going to walk through the farm and that is going to take some big lunging steps. So one leg in front, bending your knee, arms up over your head and the other leg out in front, bending your knee, arms up over your head. Let's do that again. Stepping through the sticky mud on the farm that comes with springtime. at the forest. Maple syrup comes from trees, so let's do our tree pose. Bringing one foot up to the side of your leg, arms up and over your head, palms touching. Okay, let's try it on the other leg and bring the foot up to the side of your leg, arms up over your head, palms touching. Good job. Next, it's time to tap the trees for the sap. We put a small hole in the tree, which doesn't hurt them at all. So step forward, swing your arms through the side. Looking towards your fingertips, keeping those shoulders down, arms straight out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, let's do that on the other leg. Ready? Stepping forward. Good. Swing your arms around to the side, looking over your fingertips. Good, let's come back to the end of our mat. And now we have to go and collect the sap from each of the trees. So let's run in place as we run from tree to tree collecting the sap. Now every time we reach a tree, we grab a bucket and squat because it's full of sap, lifting it high up over our head. Now 
Now it's time to boil the sap and turn it into syrup. So we need to start a campfire. So let's bring ourselves down onto our mats, sitting down with the soles of our feet together to form our campfire pose. And let's breathe in and breathe out as we lean over, reaching our forehead to our toes. Resting here while taking some deep breaths in and out. Good. So now let's get up and into standing pose. And we're going to lift our arms up over our head, taking our bucket and folding forward as we pour it into an even larger bucket where all of the sap is being collected to be boiled and turned into maple syrup. Now let's come back up to standing position. And it's time for us to stir the sap. So let's come down, spreading our legs wide apart and stirring it with our arm first in one direction winding our arms up and over our heads bringing them back down as we stir the sap and now let's do it in the other direction ready and folding over twisting our arms up and over down and around stirring the sap this takes quite a while Great. Next, we hear a clang in the woods. So in order to find out what it is, we're gonna be very quiet and tiptoe over to the woods, wondering what is going on over there. Could it be a bear? And as we arrive, very quietly now, we look and see that it's a dog and it's up on the bucket drinking the sap. So let's get into our dog pose by folding forward, putting our legs back and pushing ourselves up. As soon as the dog sees us, it races back to its home. What a mischievous dog. All right, come back up to standing and you know we need to go back and check on our sap. I think it's all done. So now we need to take those buckets and do large lunging steps with it as we take it back to the shed. So bring one foot forward, bending your knee, arms above your head, and then bring the other foot forward, bending your knee, arms above your head, and once again with the other leg, holding that bucket up as we stomp back through the mud to the shed. So now that we're at the shed, let's do our shed pose, spreading our feet apart, bringing our arms up over our head, palms together. Nice. Now that we're in the shed, we need to bottle our syrup. So we're gonna make our bottle pose by coming down onto our bottoms, soles of our feet together, stretching our arms out in front while we bring our forehead to our feet, closing the bottle. Now let's come back up and putting our legs out in front of us, we are making our truck that we're gonna carry all the syrup in, driving along and oh, it's a windy road, so lean to one side, lean to the other. Again, leaning to one side, arm over head. And one more time on the other side. And now we are going to the farmer's market. So we've arrived and we need to set up our tent. So legs apart, arms up over your head, palms touching as we do our tent pose. Great. Well, we've sold almost all of the maple syrup, but we saved just a little to keep for ourselves. Now let's come down onto our mats, crossing our legs in front of us bringing our hands in front of our heart palms together as we say our final word, oh. 